Hi everyone, today I'm doing a commission piece, very similar to the piece that I did here with the uh, ring pour technique and then wrecking that and designing something unique using a marble. So there's going to be some more marbles today, some tilting, might go off camera, um, it's going to be fun. So as I said, this is a commission piece and the colour palette that I'm using is browns, coppers, uh, like a buff titanium colour just to kind of get that contrast within the rings as I do that technique. So let's see what we can create. Okay so let me go through the tones I'm using today. So I'm using a buff titanium um, which is an opaque colour and that's by De La Rauna. And you can see that the consistency is thick and that's the same consistency for all of these colours because I'm going to be doing a ring pour and then using the marble to create a design. Okay this one's a metallic brown and that's um, De La Rowney as well, graduate acrylic. Again nice rich colours, mound upon a mound. And then we've got Pabo, which is the iridescent copper colour. One of my favourite colours at the moment. And then we've got Amsterdam Burnt Umber. These look like my coffees of a morning. <laughs> nice and strong. But very rich. And I love, I love these, um, these colour, this colour palette. I've not worked with all of these colours before, so this would be a new one for me. Then we go on to the Arteza um, Pearl Deep Brown. Again, thick, thicker consistencies than what I'd normally use for the Dutch Paws. And then Raw Sienna. Very creamy. Again, a mound upon a mound. So that's my colour palette today. Okay, so the size canvas that I'm working on today is a 30 by 24 inch. It's uh, from Loxley, it's the gold brand, uh, deep edge. So I'm going to probably paint my sides to begin with because I want to make sure that I get coverage on my sides and I don't want to pour too much paint over the edges. So I'm going to paint those sides um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I've picked my marble. This is the one that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to do a ring pour on the canvas. I'm going to place this marble on the canvas and tilt it and make a design. But first of all, I'm going to go through on how I'm going to layer the cup. I've got six different colours, so I'm going to layer each colour in turn. And then I'm hoping to get at least four different layers. So um, let's see if I can achieve that. I'm using one cup. I do have another spare cup because I want to use all my mixture. It's a bigger canvas I'm, I'm using than I normally do. So I want to make sure that I've got enough paint for the, for the surface. So all my paints now mixed, I've shown you the consistencies and now I'm just going to layer the cup. Now this bit is sped up on the video um, just so you can see how I'm layering um, the cup um, and the, the order of the tones and the colours that I'm using. Um, I'm going to do two cups because as I said it's a bigger canvas so I'm going to make sure I use all of my mixture and as you see I'm just layering the cup um, one colour at a time, pouring on the same side, and you can see there the um, the pattern that's forming. And I'm just going to try and get three, maybe four layers as I go. Um, so when I'm doing that ring pour, I'm having those various tones and colours intertwine and, um, and basically show and be on that canvas. So it actually looks quite delicious, this cup. Yeah, maybe it's something that um, I'm going to I'm going to do again. Um, I really do like these tones. I think they're really appealing, appealing on the eye. And I'm just hoping that the piece that I create uh, with these tones is going to be just as good as what we can see within that cup.
Okay, so I've got two cups. I've laid them. Cheers. Okay, so I've got my cup and I'm going to do a ring pour. Just try to get into the centre of the canvas. Just slowing, um, just pouring quite slowly. You can see all those colours coming out. You don't have to go in the same um, direction or motion. With a ring pour, you can, um, you can change direction. Let's change direction just to show you. But I am keeping that circular motion because I want to retain those rings. So when I'm stretching out the canvas and stretching out that paint on the canvas, I'm going to try and keep those rings. But obviously the marble is going to distort those rings, but that's all part of the, the intended design. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of this cup. Get the last bits out. I think I need every drop of paint that I've got. Okay, so I'm just going to swap cups. Get my other cup. Because I do need a lot more of the paint. Okay, and I'm just going to start where I left off. I'm doing the circular motion. These are really, really nice tones. I'm, I'm actually enjoying this colour palette and I'll be interested to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below about this, this particular colour palette. Um, I don't often work with browns um, and, you know, the sienna colours and, and stuff. So I'll be interested to see what you think. And maybe suggest a different technique as well to me. What other techniques would you like to see using this colour palette? I'm always open to suggestions. It's so great to hear from you guys, for you to interact with me. That's that's one thing that I really enjoy when I'm reading all your comments on the videos. Uh, and I do read every single one and I do try and reply to every single one. So um, I always read what you, what you share with me. Okay, so just coming to the end. Last bit. Don't want to drip. There we go. Yes. Oh, I quite like this. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Look at those. Uh, look at those designs on those cups. They're fantastic. I love these colours. Quite a lot of air bubbles. So I'm going to use my torch just to get rid of those air bubbles before I um, stretch out the piece and place the marble on. I don't want those air bubbles because as I said I wanted to I want to try and retain those rings that you see. Okay, so now for the fun bit. I'm gonna tilt. I'm gonna just stretch this out slightly before I put my marble on. Um guys, I know I'm gonna go off camera, so I apologize now if I do go off camera and you can't fully see uh what's happening to the design, but I will stop every now and then. Um, give you a close up, show you show you what the pattern looks like on the canvas. It's actually quite a big canvas, so I'm not used to stretching it out as far. Um, but I want to just move some of the this paint on the base of the canvas before I put the marble on there. Um, just trying to retain those rings and that design initially, just to see how far I can stretch it out. I am really, I don't know about you when you're watching, but I'm really concentrating on this piece. It has my full 100%, you know, concentration and attention. I want to just make sure it's right. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's put the marble on. I'm going to put it there. Oh, God. I hope it goes okay. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. So always remember, it's always important to remember, obviously, so there's some thicker paint on the canvas. I've placed the marble on, so it's not going to be as kind of freely moving as it would be without the paint on there. Um, but I'm just going to tilt it. I'm going to just create a design that I think is going to look good. So remember, when you're putting your marble on the, on the design and you're tilting your canvas, 
when you take that marble off, you're obviously going to stretch that design out even further. So just have that in mind. Um, that, that's what I've learned over the last couple that I've done is the design will look great now. But obviously, when that marble comes off, you're going to take that design and stretch it even further. So it's going to probably have a completely different look. Oh, God, I nearly lost control then. It nearly went right off the side. I don't want to do it too much, though, because I don't want to muddy um, the lines and the colours that are already on that canvas. So I think, I think I'm going to take the marble off. Yeah, I um, I took it off without dropping it. <laughs> that was good. I'm happy with that. Let me show you what I can see from my perspective. So that's the, the design. Um, before I'm fully stretching it out. So as you saw, I did the ring pour, I placed the marble on the canvas, and that's the pattern that I've created using the marble. Um, yeah, I really like it. So I'm going to now stretch this out. Okay, so I'm going to try and make sure that I do keep it on camera so you can see. But I'm just trying to keep that circular motion I'm stretching across the canvas as much as I can look at these lines aren't they great I really do like this color palette okay so I'm stretching into the corners I'm gonna um, lay this down every now and then the uh, the speed of the camera is sped up because I did take a long time by slowly stretching this design into each corner and then down the side. So it's slightly sped up so you don't have to watch it for too long. Um, covering my sides and my corners. But I'm still trying to maintain that, that design that I've got. So I'm moving the paint back into the middle and then stretching it out again from the middle to the sides. That way I am trying to keep the actual design that I've got. I'm maintaining some of the lines that I've got. Um, you know, the, the colour palette itself is fantastic, but I want to try and make sure that I have those um those lines and that design intact because I'm you know I'm using a um a rectangle canvas. If it was a square uh, a, a circular canvas, it may be a bit easier, but um I'm stretching it out. I do love the colour combinations that I've got. You can almost see some very, very different kind of textures and depths to this piece. I'd love to know what you think. Okay, so nearly done. So I've got the uh, the corners covered, I've got the sides covered. I've just turned it round because I'm going to tip into that last corner. And it, it's slower because the paint mixture itself is thicker. If it was runnier like a Dutch pour, then it would go very fast and I might lose control of the actual design and those lines. The thicker paint means I can maintain those lines in the ring pour that you see. They are distorted because I've done that design with the marble and I'm also stretching it out across the canvas. And nearly at the edge, just over the corner, down the sides. Yeah, there we go. Yes, paint everywhere, but it's good. It's all good. Just clear, cleaning up the sides, taking the drips off. I don't want those... Um, drips to pull the design off the canvas and I want to make sure all my sides are covered so I'm just touching up those edges and those sides now. So here is the close-up of the wet version so this is what I see. Some of that detail is great and I'm so proud that I've managed to keep that 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 contouring those lines and some of the colours that have merged into one. I really really like this. I'm definitely going to be working with this colour palette again. Look at those lines there. Look at that detail. I'm really proud of this piece. I hope the client's proud of it too. I hope they enjoy this piece. There we go. So just want to show you some more of the detail. And I will show you a dried version um, after this one. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Let me know what you think. I'm definitely going to do some more ring pours using a marble as well. I do love this technique. It can create such a unique design and creation.
and here is the dried version so it's slightly darker um, as I go for a closer look with you it will lighten up because of the, of the camera settings but you can see that I managed to create all those contours all those lines the color the color palette was great because it enabled me to create this kind of earthy uh, rustic design I, I really like that um, yeah I'm really happy with this I've showed the client and they love it. So I'm really happy. It's going to a good home. They're going to enjoy the piece. This is going in their kitchen. Um, so that's great because they're going to see that every day. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for being with me today. And I hope you can join me again soon. Take care. Bye.